Since past few years, NTA is asking question from this very topic wherein a two cross two matrix is involved and you have to write a matrix equation of order two. Let me show you the questions which NTA is asking. So can you see this question was asked in 2023 JE main. A two cross two matrix is here and an equation is here and you have to figure out the constants related to that equation, right? Okay, all right. Now the next question is from Jaimin 2024. Yes, this year, and you can see again a two cross two matrix is involved, and something related to a square is asked. Okay, so before solving these question, let us understand the characteristic equation of a two cross two matrix. How to write in the proper form? Right, it will not take more than two minutes, and we have a direct shortcut to directly write the matrix equation. Okay. So suppose this is your two cross two matrix. So there are certain steps that we need to follow to reach to that matrix equation. What is the step number one? Step number one is first of all, you have to figure out A minus lambda I matrix. Once you figure out A minus lambda I matrix, I over here is identity matrix of two cross two obviously. So A minus lambda I, now you have to take the determinant of it. Once you are done with the determinant, make it equal to zero. Once you do that now, what you will get an equation in lambda. So this is your first step. Get the equation in terms of lambda. Let's do it. So over here, a minus lambda i. So a will be what? 5, 2, 2, 1. This is your a. Okay. Minus lambda times what is i? 1, 0, 0, 1. This will be nothing but a minus lambda i matrix. Okay. Now this lambda will go inside. And what we need to do is we need to multiply lambda in each and every term. Lambda will get multiplied with 0. It will not make any sense. So lambda, lambda over here. Now just subtract these two matrix. So over here, A minus lambda I matrix will be what? 5 minus lambda. Okay. And we are having 2 minus 0. So 2. And then we are having 2 minus 0, 2. And 1 minus lambda. This is your matrix. But what we are looking for is the determinant. So why not take determinant both sides and eventually make it equal to zero. This is your step number one. Okay. Now just expand this two cross two determinant. What I'll be getting is one minus lambda into five minus lambda minus four is equals to zero. From here, I told you that you will get a quadratic equation in lambda. Let's just write quadratic equation in lambda. So what you will be getting is lambda square minus you are having 6 lambda plus you are having 5 minus 4 is equals to 0. So finally you will be getting lambda square minus 6 lambda plus 1 equals to 0. Correct? Yes? Clear? So this is it. Now the step number 2 convert into matrix form. Now you are just done. You just need to convert it into matrix form. How to do that? So lambda square will be replaced by matrix A. Basically lambda will be replaced by matrix A and the constant term will be replaced by uh, identity matrix. I'll show you how. So this is A square minus 6A and you have plus 1 times identity matrix. So this is plus I is equals to 0. This is your uh, matrix equation you can say or characteristic equation. Okay. So this is what the whole concept is. Right. So now uh, I'll be telling you the shortcut, the final shortcut of this particular equation. So one thing you need to observe over here is this minus 6, okay? We are focusing on 6. What is 6? So if you carefully observe this matrix A, trace of matrix A is nothing but 6. That means clearly the 6 can be replaced by trace of matrix A. What about this 1, okay? What is this 1? So 1 is nothing but if I find out the determinant, what I'll be getting is 5 minus 4. So determinant A is nothing but 5 minus 4, that is 1. So clearly this, the shortcut says that, okay, so A square minus trace of matrix A times uh, A and you have plus determinant A is equals to 0 directly if you know the matrix A, you can directly write this. Right away you can write this. Okay. You don't have to perform all these steps. 
I hope that this is clear. This is shortcut. And actually, honestly, one more way is there to write the same equation. Let me just write it down. One more, one more way is clearly. So this is a square minus trace of a. So it it can be replaced by sum of roots, just like in quadratic equation. And plus we are having product of roots. Okay. Roots. What are roots into i? Now, what are roots? How will I get roots? So, roots is basically the roots of this equation. If this is your quadratic equation, six is sum of roots. One is product of roots. So, over here you can directly write this as a square minus sum of roots times a plus product of roots into i is equals to zero. Clearly, trace of matrix a and sum of roots are equal over here. One more thing I can write. Trace of matrix A will be equals to sum of roots, and determinant A will be equals to product of roots. Okay, so this is what you need to one, two, and three. Three things you have to keep in mind. Okay, now quickly, 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 question time. J M in twenty twenty three. So let us understand this. This is your matrix A, and this is your equation involving matrix. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to directly write the matrix equation so that will be a square minus trace of a into a plus determinant a i is equals to 0 what is trace of a 1 plus 10 so that is 11 so minus 11 a plus what is determinant a 10 minus 5 lambda determinant a value is 10 minus 5 lambda so this is plus 10 minus 5 lambda times i is equals to 0 this is your equation right but i don't want this i want something related to a inverse so we'll obtain it from this equation only just multiply a inverse on each and every side of this equation so a inverse into a square will give you a minus 11 times a inverse into a will give you i plus 10 minus 5 lambda i will get multiplied with a inverse so this is going to be a inverse is equals to 0 now to convert my equation in this format a inverse will remain on left hand left hand side everything will be on the right hand side so a inverse will be 11i minus a upon we are having 10 minus 5 lambda okay now we are we, we just have to compare what is the coefficient of a over here alpha what is the coefficient of a over here minus 1 upon 10 minus 5 lambda that is your first equation second what is the coefficient of i beta right what is the coefficient of i over here 11 upon 10 minus 5 lambda this is your beta this is your beta this is second equation now alpha plus beta is given as minus 2 so we just need to add these two equations together alpha plus beta will give me 10 upon 10 minus 5 lambda and this will be equal to what minus 2 right yes so over here clearly we can get the value of lambda so this would be your uh, yes 2 ones are 2 2 fives are 10 and 5 if you take common 5 this is 2 so you are going to get 1 is equals to lambda minus 2 lambda is coming out as 3 the moment you see lambda equals to 3 alpha can be figured out Lambda, if it is three, ten minus fifteen, so minus five. Alpha is coming out as one by five, and beta. What about beta? The moment you put uh, three over here, ten minus fifteen, so minus eleven by five is your beta. Okay, and this is your lambda. Now let's plug in the value. They are asking four alpha square, so four upon twenty-five plus we have beta square. Beta square is one twenty-one upon 25 then we have lambda square which is nothing but 3 square 9 so now 125 by 25 plus 9 is what tell me so 25 into 5 will be 125 9 plus 5 14 option 3 14 is clear cut final answer okay so this was the question from jm in 2023 now let's talk about jm in 2024 this is actually a very easy question let a A be a two cross two real matrix. I be the identity matrix. Roots of this equation are given by minus one and three. Okay, so can you see again same a minus uh, x i is equals to zero. So the moment I solve it, 
what we did was with the help of lambda so we get a quadratic equation in lambda but they are giving what they are giving is sum of uh, basically roots okay so i can write a quadratic equation in x x square minus sum of roots sum of roots is 3 minus 1 that is 2 and what is product of roots minus 3 is equals to 0 okay now matrix equation so a square minus 2a minus 3i is equals to 0 okay that's my equation now what they are asking let us understand so they are asking sum of the diagonal elements of a square okay so they are asking trace of a square right they are asking trace of a square so trace of a square will be nothing but trace of 2a plus 3i okay so trace of a square is nothing but now apply the property of trace so this will be twice of trace of a plus thrice of trace of i by the way i is a two cross two matrix okay you are looking for trace of a square now what is trace of a what is trace of a understand realize in this a square minus trace of a times a plus determinant a times i is equals to 0 clearly trace of a is equals to minus 2 remember remember trace of a is sum of roots okay so trace of a is sum of roots so 2 multiply what is sum of roots 2 plus 3 times trace of identity matrix 2 cross 2 so this is again 2 so this is 4 plus 6 10 is clear cut the answer okay so this is your shortcut and i'll see you in the next video